And good morning, everyone. We're at the Goodwill Bins. We put my fanny pack on. I got my Green Hulk shirt on today, which is like my favorite shirt. We're gonna go to the Goodwill Bins. We're gonna find some Hannah's looking for jeans. I don't know what I'm looking for. I've got so much stuff at home to restock my antique mall boots with that like, there's nothing I'm hurting for right now. So I'm just gonna try to maybe find something fun. Stick around. bin full of lampshades. Seriously, there's like a hundred of them. It's very curious. Oh, there's more lampshades. Oh, baby. Well, it's pretty busted. GS with like a Nerf case welded to it. It's like glued on. We'll take it for parts. This is very possibly the cutest windbreaker I've ever found at the bins. Look at this. Gear. It's like got a hood and its fabric is like really see-through on top. It's freaking sweet. Well, this is interesting. Some sort of Phoenix space station. I don't really understand. Arizona flag. Interesting. But also, this might be good. Oh yes, I think we hit the jackpot. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We're gonna be here for a minute. Some sort of ship. I think I'm gonna have to turn this bin over. All right, let's just take this whole box, you think? There's a bunch of like vintage grandma stuff in here. It's kind of cute. This baby. Some state line barbecue. Casino jacket. And this little gem. Laughlin. Very nice. Hey, that is uh, vinyl stickers for uh, a cricket machine or for any vinyl cutter which I do a lot of, so that's very useful. And here's a bag-o for myself. This, this bin is awesome. Hot glue sticks, Velcro, sew on Velcro, opposed to the sticky stuff. And there's a blank kid's t-shirt. That means a lot of the stuff in here is some crafty person's donations. So I'm a crafty enough person. Some sewing patterns. This is an incredible find. Look how cool that is. Those pastel colors. Yes. Especially with it being winter right now, ski suits do really well for me. What is that? A little bobblehead Captain America. I'll hang on to that. This bin is 50% toys, 50% crafts. That's kind of awesome. gonna have to go through that. There are two of these big jeans bins here. They're like those Gaylords. So they're very deep and very difficult to dig through because jeans like to intertwine themselves together and they're really heavy. I can't get it out, but it's okay. Um, I found something that I really like. These, I don't know how well it's gonna translate, are stripy capris. But I think they're gonna be really cute if I like cut off the legs and then do a little rolled hem on the bottom. Ugh, I'm obsessed. Look at all these toys. This is wild. Just toys, toys, toys. <laughs> Shark puppet. Kind of gross. Yeah, 
Ooh. Lots of sewing patterns. Oh my gosh, I had the same shirt, but I destroyed mine. <laughs> I really liked it. I got so many compliments on it. This isn't large. Mine was like a 2XL, so it was nice and comfy, but maybe the largest is a little bit more acceptable for me to wear. Nothing in particular in here I'm looking for, I don't think. I'll definitely be buying this vinyl. Now this box full of train stuff is kind of interesting because I'm just full up on tracks. I don't need more, but there are tons of trains in here. Tons. So I'll be taking all those. I hate leaving the tracks behind, but I just have so many. Way more than I can currently process. I'll make sure to take any special pieces though. that look at that piece that's special that's what i'm talking about right there the more thomas playing stuff i find the more excited i get that's neat i've never seen that with a guardrail on it i'm not gonna lie to you i kind of wish these were my size they're kind of awesome <laughs> oh there's three shoe bins here today and then there's a few of them out in the front and i haven't found a single thing in the ones in the front so I'm really debating on whether or not I want to get my hands super dirty. So far, it doesn't look like it's going to be worth it. Just gingerly dig through this for a second. Maybe I'll find something to get excited about. So far, no. Now look at this. They're about to close the back room here. They're going to kick us out. And uh, this is a guitar amp, okay? I know this looks strange. It's, it is strange. I've seen them in like guitar center stuff before. Plug your guitar in, that pig nose, cause this is called a pig nose. The pig nose actually turns it on and is the volume. And the only damage to this thing is the battery connector is kind of coming off, but it can be battery powered or you can plug it in with a standard nine volt. So we're definitely, definitely gonna go home try to play that bad boy. That's fine of the day for sure. So it's an icons kind of day. Look at this Mr. Rogers shirt. That's kind of amazing. My Bob Ross shirt and my Mr. Rogers shirt are coming home with me. I'm pretty stoked about that Mr. Rogers shirt, not gonna lie. Oh, there's a Nerf clip. That's better than nothing. I'll take that. Marlins. There's some weird noises coming from here. <laughs> what else? Let's see if I can find one more thing before they kick us out of the back room for rotation. Oh, nope, nope. They're gonna kick us out now. I found a guitar amp, probably the best. Thing. I just hope it works because I'm definitely gonna get it. There's some sports cards here too, and I've always made it really clear that I don't have any personal interest in sports cards but we're going to start selling more card stuff at our antique mall i'm going to build a special table and a special way to buy them in our antique malls and i kind of figured i should do a sports section so anytime i find them at the bins or super cheap at the regular goodwills i'm going to start buying them so a whole bunch of basketball stuff you like my mr rogers neighborhood shirt that's beautiful i'd wear it if it's my size well there you go that's a pretty big armful of clothes a great armful of clothes and then a bag full of nonsense. I don't know what else you need from the Goodwill bins. I'm gonna have the baked ziti with meatballs, please. Mmm, take a smell of that. Mmm. I had to get a, I had to get my pasta fix taken care of. Sometimes you just need some new news, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Mm. Look at this meatball. Mmm. Post Ben's pasta. Post Ben's pasta. 
trademark. Okay, guys, we got a pretty ridiculous haul from the Goodwill bins. Just really random stuff. But before we jump into it, I wanted to kind of throw an announcement out there about uh, the next coming weeks and months. We're going to be hitting the road uh, very soon. Very, 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 very soon. Like in the next week or so. Uh, we've got a few more regular videos to get cranked out. A few more bins videos, just the normal stuff. Um, and then we're going to just get on the road and go. We've got a specific destination in mind. We're going to go visit some friends. We're going to go thrift with some friends, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So if that sounds at all interesting to you, pretty please hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. So when we do do that, you guys will know. Uh, and you can come back and hit the road with us. We'd really love to have you. So that's just it. Just letting you know that it's officially coming. We're officially going to go somewhere. And uh, let's get into the hole. Um... I got a couple molded train pieces, and it's so funny. I should pay more attention. There's so many different brands of train stuff that we resell. Melissa and Doug, Thomas and Friends. There's IKEA brands. And I don't much pay attention to it except for the Thomas trains. I sell pretty much branded Thomas trains that I use all the other sets to kind of fill in the rest. And, and there's a lot of options. And though I think those are aftermarket. I don't think they're... Thomas and friends, so that was pretty cool. And this bag is just full of pieces, and I'm not going to show them all to you one by one, but there were some Thomas and friends trains, so hey. yeah, those, that's Stanley, if you didn't Aww. know, old Stanley. Um, but yeah, that was that was uh, probably one of my better finds. What did you get today? I got a big old puffy pile of a lot of 80s. Wow. Isn't this beautiful? Wow. Oh, it's a bodysuit. It's a whole ski I, suit. I, I thought it was just a cool colored uh, jacket. These ski suits are something that was kind of random when we first started Depop. And we thought, well, we'll just try it. And, I, and this this is two years ago now when we when we really gave it. A, there was a, It was like February. February rolled around and I actually had some family health issues where I had to go home and take care of some family business. And this was, at this time, it was just a couple months after we had really started reselling clothes. And while I was gone, it was so strange. We started selling insane amounts. Yeah. Well, we started selling, it's not, it's no more crazier than what we do now, but it was when we first tapped into it. Yeah. And that's what this makes me think of. I remember being back home in Kentucky while you were here and you and me texting each other. Could you believe we just sold six body, like snow suits? Yeah, it was weird. It, it was like, boom, sold bodysuit. Boom, sold beautiful pair of shoes for $60. Yeah, and this, boom, another bodysuit. Like, it was just insane. Yeah, and that's what that reminds me of. Because we, we sold like five or six all in a couple days once. And we were like, did we figure something out? Right? Yeah. Was this completely a fluke? Yeah. Do we have a new life calling? And that's what bodysuits always make me think of. Because every time we sell one, I just go... My life is a joke. <laughs> well, I remember my, this makes me think of my very first big sale I got on Depop. It was, I sold it way too cheap, let's yeah. be serious. But it was this 1970s, I think it was Faded Glory okay. denim Walmart, jumpsuit. Right? Yeah. I don't know or if Walmart Kmart. It was like owned Walmart, it then, but Walmart, Kmart, but like, you know, regular store-bought stuff. It was a light medium wash denim with orange stars sewn into it and it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life and I sold it for I think $150 right and someone without question bought it and I was like no questions asked oh my gosh and we yeah. went and got cheesecake that nice to celebrate to celebrate our first <laughs> humongous sale and I mean we know so much more now having done this for years since but um I just thought it would be interesting it would be important to point that out like I'm not saying you, I'm not telling you all this to say you should go try to sell bodysuits. It's very particular. You need to be on the right platform with the right uh, audience, you know, because yeah. Depop is very much so kind of you build an audience of people, or if you're a buyer on Depop, you follow people like you follow on Instagram with your like. That's the way things are meant to be sold. So Hannah's got a lot of followers that like this kooky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why she's able to sell them. Yeah. I don't know necessarily that you will, but it just, I'm just trying to point out how odd it is that yeah. we find that stuff and and we're yeah. kind of it, it had been dug that bin had been dug through a hundred times and nobody picked it up yeah. and I was just like, oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> All right, well I got a. A gamer manual just kind of nonsense really i got some sports cards too and uh kind of to attach this to the little announcement we just made i'm not trying to look past our trip but when we get back from our trip one of my biggest goals is to 
build a new way to sell more trading card stuff in our antique mall. I've been thinking about it for months and I just haven't had the time to build the display that I need to do it. But uh, when I do get it, I'll be putting sports cards in it as well as Pokemon and other trading cards. So I'm, if it shows up at the bins, you'll see me buy it. You'll probably still see me pass up a lot of sports cards at regular thrift stores because I don't want to pay anything for them. Like I paid yeah. 50 cents for that pile and that's nothing, you know? Uh, so that was pretty cool. What else did you get? I got a bunch of good jeans for color blocking. So I'm going to kind of rifle through that really quick. A pair of Levi's for color blocking. Oh, we'll talk about this guy. You remember the shirt? Oh yeah, you've sold that shirt like three times. Yes, and I had one, and I, you I ripped wore, it. <laughs> <laughs> you you keep it's one of those shirts you keep buying and wearing, and you go, oh, I guess I'll sell I'll it. I'll sell it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've actually have gotten a lot of discounts on things because I was wearing the shirt for some reason. Somebody will be like, I love your shirt. I'm giving you a ten percent discount on your food. I'm like, thank you. Bob Ross opens doors. Very strange. <laughs> well, that's a good one. This is all just vinyl uh spinal sticker so i'll cut some things out of these i wish it was so on by or iron on vinyl because i never can keep enough of that around uh but the sticker stuff is good i can make my own decals out of that picked up a couple of shirts for the booth um this is a nice guardians of the galaxy shirt with its tag still on it oh wow so that looked nice i didn't see i mean i didn't see all this little long sleeve star wars shirt I, I did see this one floating around in the back of the van but i didn't realize you picked it up at the bins i did um i picked up a ds today i just can't leave this stuff behind it's not in a great shape that's unfortunate that's a that's a bad waggle oh no uh but you know parts and such i've got a buddy that has a really rare green ds like super rare but his buttons are bad so maybe the triggers inside here might uh be good for his replacement sweet. we'll see somebody actually found these for me it's very sweet of them vince and christine if you're watching thank you oh very nice their daughter found this for me and i was like thank you oh that's awesome yeah it was good to see you guys at the bins too if you're watching uh there's there's a growing number of local thrifters and resellers that uh as you could probably imagine we're, we've grown to know just because they recognize us in public and then we stand around and chat every now and then when we see said people and uh those guys are some people we've seen now probably the most yeah it's like three or four times now yeah different goodwills like at different goodwill every single time um this is probably my yeah it's my fight of the day i'm not gonna sugarcoat it it's so funny. I walked by that. I saw it in one of the bins probably five seconds before you picked it up. I looked at it and I go, that looks curious. And then I saw you walking around with it and I go, mm, must have been special. Oh, you you didn't know what it was. I didn't because it was flipped to the back oh, and okay. like shoved into the bin well, a little bit. Well, anytime you see something that is, what do, you, what do you say, is wrapped and, you know, it has audio inputs, it's going to be something interesting. Well, it's funny. I must have subconsciously saw the, like, audio input in the back because I was like, oh, that would that would be way too small for a pedal board so i didn't even like yeah. look at it well it's a nice portable amp and and you know i'm trying to put stuff together for a, a future vehicle a future camper rv type vehicle or sprinter van or whatever we get um i want to there's some things i kind of want to take on the road and do and I, you know it'd be cool to have a guitar on the road but if you do you want some portable stuff and this is actually an impressive little portable amp um it's 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 nice. I, I I remember seeing them for a couple of years at guitar centers and stuff. It's called Pig Nose. The knobs of Pig Nose. It can be powered by nine volt adapter or nine volt battery, and uh, you can even put kind of a strap on it, like a guitar strap, and wear it around your huh. around around your back. Walk around uh, the subway playing yeah. your guitar. And yeah. Very nice. It'd be very cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy. Very happy. This is the second guitar amp I've brought home and a few weeks uh, or well it's been, the last one was a couple months ago but uh i again just like the last one i think i'll keep this one because i don't have a lot of good guitar gear these days like i used to what else did you get i got a lot of, look at this this is the first thing i found oh wow this is probably the most beautiful windbreaker i've ever oh, found in my entire life that's awesome because like this it looks, this you, is all sheer you might want to keep that i feel like it's really cool that's awesome it's I'd, very hannah isn't it <laughs> it looks kind of wide it doesn't look very tall but it looks wide yeah i kind of want to put it on 
Is it too small? I think it will be, but you can well, try. I don't want to bust it, but yeah, it looks bust it, it looks kind of big. You know what I mean? Are you just dreaming? You're hoping really oh, hard? I would wear this so hard. Oh yeah, you would. I don't know. It's beautiful. It's, You're in it! It's good on top, but the... That's as yeah. far as it goes. <laughs> I can't get it over my boobies. You look adorable. <laughs> You're gonna have to help me get out of it. That's sad. It's so cute. It's big. It's just not this big. What else did you get? Um, a little pair of capris that I'm gonna cut up and make into shorts. Some more color blocking. Some more color blocking. So those are all for customs? Yeah. And then, da 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 da! A Mr. Rogers Neighborhood shirt for me! It's the same time as the Bob Ross one. It's a good day. Wow. Well, um, that's cool. I'm very excited. I'm very excited about the the upcoming trip and all these things and uh, I'm not gonna be ready to take a guitar with me on this next trip but we need to get a bigger vehicle and, uh, and be able to do some of these things I want every handle or like turn knob thing in my life to be a pig nose well you know what's interesting I don't this uh, this pig nose knob you can stick a little Allen head wrench in this hole and loosen it up and this could be put on most standard guitar amp knobs and guitar knobs. But can it be put on most oven ranges and <laughs> No. They're not gonna be the same size <laughs> nubbin. You want you want your you want a pig nose on I your oven? I want the whole house to have pig nose stuff on it. <laughs> well, I mean I could 3D print some but they'd all be plastic. It wouldn't be ideal. We'll figure it out. We could mold them and okay anyways we'll uh we'll get back to you on the pig noses <laughs> thanks for watching thanks for hanging out with us make sure you come back tomorrow and hang out with us then because we do post daily videos on this channel lots of cool stuff coming up like we said road trip coming up it's it's a it's a road trip light we can't just hit all the country up and go crazy right now because there are still covid concerns but um there's a trip we've been putting off that we just can't put off anymore so we're gonna go get take care of some business and do some things and do some thrifting along the way so we'd love to have you here for that uh also hit that subscribe button and maybe help us get to 10,000 subs before we get back for said road trip that would be that would be awesome i can't thank you enough for you guys who have already subbed and if you're watching and you haven't subbed yet hit that subscribe button for us uh, but other than that see you back here tomorrow same time uh i don't know what we're doing tomorrow come find out we'll probably be thrifting and until then guys peace out